when I'm running the diamond recovery plant, everything comes down to the end here. The jig is over there, and your oversized rock comes down this. And I've got water that recirculates. When this equipment came from South Africa, it ended here. And you just have to sort through all this by hand. Well, I had a gold and diamond dredge, and I stole the sluice off of it and added it to the end here. So that now, as the big rocks come down, this water washes it, and it catches in the ripples. And then I don't have to sort through all the rocks. The rocks go off the end here, and I can scoop them up. Any any diamond that would be this big, you know, I don't want to miss the Uncle Sam diamond. Uh, it would catch in these ripples. So it's time now to turn the water off and clean this sluice out. There's several pieces to this grid. This lifts out of here. See, as the water washes across, it loses velocity behind these ripples, and the diamonds would be caught there. So, pull these up. And any big diamond would be caught in this that's caught behind these ripples. So basically I just take these maps out. I'm kind of looking for diamonds right now. One this size you'd see real easy. But I take it and I wash the maps out. You might have seen this on other gold shows. Gold Rush or Yukon Gold. They have maps like this, gold maps, but it would also work for diamonds as well. This also lifts out, it's hinged and it swivels up, so I've got a, a set of sluices here. all this gravel over to a plight jig that I have and jig through it and it concentrates all the heavy together so there is light material in with this just whatever came down and whatever got trapped by the ripple I want to take it and jig it again see if there might be a big diamond in this again it has a mat under it It's just kind of like a piece of carpet. Special, special mat. And I wash through it. In this tub of water, clean the mat. There wouldn't be any gold in this, even if there is gold in the lint right, because the gold would have fallen out and gone in the jig. But we're really not hopeful or not expecting gold, it would be a nice byproduct, but uh, anyway, then I put the mask in and buckle this all back down, and uh, I'm ready to go again. There's other maps in here that I can pull out as well. Clean this really good, take it all and jig it again. So no diamonds left behind. I just wasn't comfortable with it just dumping into a pile of gravel that wasn't sorted. I'd hate to miss a big diamond.